This is the Fried Man Mark Carter himself, and welcome back to my vaping experience. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Smock Fetch Pro and the RPM 80. All right, now we're taking a look at the RPM uh, 80. All right. Now, I never would have really uh, gotten into the pods had I not met this beautiful woman. And, uh, Lori, because I believe there's a vape mod for everybody to get off those cancer sticks. And hers was the Nord, which is a pod. And, uh, anyhow, I got her into vaping. And, uh, well, the RPM started with, with the RPM 40 which is this guy here, and uh, it was good for what it was, and this is the RPM 80 Pro, and Lori had this device in her possession for quite some time, she had one of these, and uh, she'd complain about her devices uh, being uncharged, or not working, or whatever, this, that, and another, and I'd, I'd tell her, babe, You've got that RPM 80 Pro, and she just would dismiss it. And when she finally got around to vaping on this bad boy, she absolutely fell in love with it. And uh, this device uh, takes an 18650 battery, which is why I love it biggest con I've ever had with the pods is that, uh, you know, the battery life. Because once you have a device with an internal battery, once that battery goes, so does the device. So this right here, yeah, once that device, the battery dies, it ain't no good. But this guy can keep it right on going with a new battery when the battery dies. I love that. The Fetch Pro is identical as far as the specs are with the RPM80 Pro. They're identical. The only real difference is, is they both have screens, they both take the same similar coil, and they both take an 18650 battery. I prefer the look of this thing over the look of this thing. The problem is, the RPM 80 just just vapes better. You wouldn't think so, but I really have always loved the look of these devices, uh, this style device over this style device because it just I don't know. I think it looks cool. The Smock has never been able to to nail this this device style down. So. Uh, and that's why I've, I've chosen to vape on this thing. And uh, let's see, I've got mine set at 30, 37 watts. Doesn't take much power, so the juice will last you a little bit longer. And that's always a welcome thing. Both devices come with pods. All right, this is about what the pod to the the Fetch Pro looks like. Again, they both take the same coil, okay, and they're press fit. All you gotta do is line up the flat part with the flat part, and push that bad boy on in there. Now with the Fetch Pro, the fill port's right here, and what you do is you you gotta get your fingernail in there, pull that sucker down, move it over to the side, put your juice in that hole. And it comes with uh, airflow. I don't know if you can see that. A little ring you can move around, control your airflow, and that's good. And then after you get it filled up, juiced up, and just pops right into place. Now, the people, the, the design of the RPM Pro, much better because the fill port is on the top. You see there? And that's nice because unlike 
the Fetch Pro, the Fetch Pro, you got to take it out to fill it up every time. This right here, you ain't got to. So that's another advantage the RPM Pro has over the Fetch Pro. So, uh, there ain't much really else to talk about this little device, but he is great to put in your pocket. Absolutely won't leak. Replaceable 18650 batteries. And like I say, this guy is, is very similar, but the difference is... Between the two devices, the RPM Pro takes the cake. Uh, it's one of my girlfriend's most favorite devices. And uh, I say it's good on the juice consumption. Next month, I will be doing another uh, video on a device I'm getting. Well, actually, I'm getting two devices. Not sure if I'll do a review on one of them. I might. I might. I'm definitely going to be doing an unboxing and review of, of a device I have ordered like two months ago. And it'll be arriving uh, Thursday next week. So expect a video from me next month on the RPM 160. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, now that's what I've wanted all along, a device like that, but... Like I said, we'll talk about it next month. And until next time, I have been the fried man Mark Carter himself. You've been watching my vaping experience. And until next time, vape on.